It's a big night of high school sports in our community. The News 8 Highlight Zone starts now. Good evening, I'm Greg Wavernick. Charlie with the night off after covering last night's MVC clincher for the Central Red Raiders. More conference championships on the line tonight. We enter this evening's Final Girls Cooley Games with a two-way tie for first place. One of those teams is GET. They host Westby, who is guaranteed to finish third place in conference. Pick it up in the second half. GET's Lexi Wagner hits the long jumper for two of her 18. Red Hawks up big. Norse trying to fight back in. Chelsea Olsen, she's good from downtown. But GET staying in control. This time, some defense converting into offense. Macy Williams steal and takes it all the way back. She had 18 tonight. Red Hawks do their job winning 59-41. West Salem like GET with a 10-1 record entering the evening. Panthers host Black River Falls. First half West Salem's Jillian Olson gets the steal and a transition bucket. Panthers out to an early 15-3 lead. More from West Salem as Abby Niemeyer finds Haley Dutton on the pick and roll. That makes it 21-7 Panthers. Black River Falls trying to get something going. Morgan Anderson gets the three. 15 point they trail by West Salem's Maggie Latos makes a nice touch pass then to Dutton. It's 27 to 10 the score there. Three Panthers finishing in double figures. West Salem wins 53-36, so they will share the Cooley title with GET. The first meeting this season between the Aquinas and Holman boys. The Vikings won on a basket with one second to play. Round two this evening over at Aquinas. Both these teams trying to work their way back to the 500 mark with a couple conference games to go. Vikings looking to claw back in it after being down at the half. Austin Braun cuts to the basket and gets the lay-in. But another strong night for the Blue Gold's Chris Ansius. He's left wide open for three of his game-high 21 points. Back to Braun doing everything he can for Holman. Nice finish off the glass. Pulls the Vikings within 15, but that's as close as they'd get down the stretch. Nice movement here by the Blue Gulls. Alex Schulte, two of his 16. Then Eddie Harwick checked this drive out. Floater over defenders. Aquinas winning big in the rematch, 73-46. Logan looking to snap a three-game losing streak as they host Sparta. Spartans come out ready to roll. Sorry, Spire with the steal and layup. Spartans on a game, on the 7-2 run, run to open up the game, but back come the Rangers. Trey Davis drives and finishes with the left hand off the glass for the bucket. Then later on, off of the out-of-bounds play, C.J. Siegel spots up in the corner for a wide open three. Siegel leading the charge with 24 points as Logan wins 83-62. Melrose Mendoro four wins away from an undefeated regular season tonight hosting Augusta. First half action, Melman's Matt Rosa picks up the loose ball, hits the shot as the Mustangs go up by two. Back come the Beavers of Augusta. Carter Berlin hits the shot in the post and they take a two point lead. Later more Melman, Aaron Scaife turnaround jumper, ties things up early on. Scaife ends up leading the way as the Mustangs pull down the stretch and Melman remains undefeated winning 68 to 50. And one non-conference score to pass along, Hillsborough beating Viroqua 69 to 58. 20 and one and Scenic Bluffs champion Bangor wrapping up the regular season this evening, hosting Wani Walk Center. First half Bangor's Alia Fortier gets the steal, takes it the other way for the layup. 5-0 early on. Wani Walk Center trying to get something going as Megan Thompson finds Madison McCall for the long two. Makes it a 7-4 game. More transition from Bangor. Jacqueline Fright finds Ashley Lockington. 12-5 Bangor with the lead. Bangor now 21-1 heading into the playoffs with a 59-23 win tonight. We'll still plenty more to get to, including championships decided for the Ridge and Valley girls and Cooley Gymnastics. Welcome back to the News 8 Highlights on the Ridge and Valley girls title gets decided on the final night of play. Seneca, one of the two teams tied for first entering the night. A tough challenge though, they travel to rival DeSoto. Seneca trailed by five at the half, but they come out hot in the second. Jenna Konacek knocks down the jumper and they lead by five. Seneca up by as many as 13 in the second half, but DeSoto would come storming back late. Julia Wolpett cuts the lead to one as she gets the and one play. However, Seneca would prove to be too much for the Pirates down the stretch. Becky Trotch would get the friendly roll to go up five late in the game, and Seneca securing a share of the Ridge and Valley with a 58-55 win. Kickapoo, the other team in first place, entering the evening as they host Weston. Panthers get it going right away. Jessica Coulter drops it into the hoop with a nice touch. That gives Kickapoo an early 2-0 advantage. Panthers adding to that lead then as Aly Alyssa Mathis spots up 
from deep and drills it to increase the lead to five. Kickaboo takes care of business tonight, winning 54-35, so they will share the conference championship. Wazika Steuben sitting in third place. They travel out to Lafarge. Second half, Hornets on the attack. Kylie Zimmerman knocks down the jumper just inside the arc. A few possessions later, then Tatum Bars gets bumped down low, but gets the basket to go. Wazika Steuben wins this one tonight by final of 59-37. Back to Viola earlier in the night. It was the boys' battle between Kickapoo and Weston. Second half, Dylan Keller spots up from behind the arc, and he buries it to put the Silver Eagles up 41-34. But then the Panthers get hot. Logan Kaufman gets the steal. Dishes a beautiful pass to Mike Goodwin, who finishes Kickapoo with a 45-43 lead. The run continues. Kaufman steal again. This time takes care of the rest. Hoop and harm. Kaufman had a high 18 points on the game. Panthers end the game on a 30-9 run. They win it 64-50. Three Rivers East champion Caledonia caps off their regular season facing Fillmore Central. First half, Mariah Schrader lays it in off the fast break. Warriors out to a 4-2 lead. Later in the half, nice work on the glass from Samantha Schrader. She gets the board and puts it in. Cal up 8-5. More from the Warriors. Katie Thornton, nothing but net from the wing. They lead at 16-13 and Caledonia gets the win 61-45. Houston at home against Leroy Ostrander. Seven minutes to go in this one. Kelly Jervis gets the hoop plus the harm. Three-point play, Hurricanes down by two. Next possession, Hurricanes tie it up. Strong finish by Alyssa Rostad, 61 all. Back and forth game all evening long. Haley Hunkerhold puts the Cardinals back on top with the three, but it's Houston with the final big play tonight. Rebecca Lee, money from downtown Houston. A 71-68 lead. They make their free throws down the stretch to win it 80-79. Cooley Gymnastics champion gets crowned tonight. Viroqua hosting the big meet. Start with a beam. Ellie Schumper started strong with a couple of back handsprings. She finishes the routine with a perfect dismount, scoring a 9.15 for West Salem. On the floor for Viroqua, Josie McClellan on her third pass nails the landing. She scores a 9.35. Next on the vault for GET, Maya Boudin gets some big air, sticks the landing to score a 9.0. Check out these results, just some terrific competition this season. West Salem caps off an extremely great week. They win by a score of 139 flat. They're led by Shumper, who wins the all-around. Homecoming celebration tomorrow at Viterbo. Tonight, the men taking on number 23 in the nation, Bellevue, early on. You know this name by now, Jake Bamke. He buries the long jumper here for the lead. A few possessions later, Bamke again, this time from the left side. He has a game high 17 points as well as nine rebounds and six assists, but the Bruins too much tonight. Aaron Bain knocks down the long three. But Turbo, they put up a fight, but end up losing 70-57. Cooley region chill in the middle of a three game series against the Wilderness. First period chill on the power play. Nice scoring chance for Dominic Florian. But he's robbed point blank, still no score. Later on, Wilderness now on the rush. Alex Toscano fires one to the net, but misses. Chill would be down one nothing after one period of play, but CRC scores six over the final two periods, including a pair from Holman native Justin Kendall as they pick up the win. Time for our play of the night. We go back to GET Redhawks. Macy Williams with the steal in the bucket. GET wins it 59-41. Also this evening, West Salem gets a victory 53-36. So those two share the Cooley Championship with 11-1 marks. Also this evening, Johnny Sauter, Nasita's very own, wins the NASCAR Truck Series to get the NASCAR uh, weekend out in Daytona underway. Uh, also tomorrow, WIAC Championship up for grabs for the UWL men's basketball team. That game, 7 o'clock at Mitchell Hall. If you're looking for something to do, we'll have highlights from State Swim, wrestling sectionals, a busy day, so stay, keep it right here. We're out of time. Have a great weekend, everyone.